Everyone wants to take a picture with me. <laughs> My long life, I have seen great changes. In the days when I went to law school, my entering class at Harvard was over 500 students, and only nine were women. There was no anti-discrimination law, so employers were totally upfront in saying, um, we don't want any lady lawyers here. Sex, like race, has been made the basis for unjustified, or at least unproved assumptions, concerning an individual's potential to perform or to contribute to society. These distinctions have a common effect. They help keep woman in her place, a place inferior to that occupied by men in our society. I did see myself as kind of a kindergarten teacher in those days because the judges didn't think sex discrimination existed. Well, one of the things I tried to plant in their minds was think about how you would like the world to be for your daughters and granddaughters. In my lifetime, I expect to see three, four, perhaps even more women on the high court bench, women not shaped from the same mold, but of different complexions. I surely would not be in this room today without the determined efforts of men and women who kept dreams of equal citizenship alive. I will announce a dissent from the bench if I think that the court not only got it wrong, but egregiously wrong. It holds the most hope for the world mm -hmm. if countries uh, allow women to do, as I said, whatever their God-given talent enables them to do. I think we will all be better off for it. I've heard that she does 20 push-ups three times a week or something. I mean, we can't even get off the floor. <laughs>